Hey, what's up beautiful people it's in welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's titled work student can't explain white privilege hmm. also i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out gettysburg college in pennsylvania has recently postponed an event that centered around being tired of cis white men so i'm at ut campus to ask students what they think about the event let's go find out saying like we're tired of straight white men in society is really as like explicit as it sounds i think it's just contributing to a general idea that like we're tired of straight white men having the power and everything you know and it's like we as women of color as like students at this university like we are very much capable of certain things and we don't have the same privileges that are offered to straight white men <laughs> and I've been hearing that from a lot of the ladies that I've been talking to today talk to me about what some of those privileges are that you know straight white men have that you don't have talk to me about that um, I think, I mean, I don't really know. Have you ever experienced, like, a specific instance? I'm running by. I also need to go. I know. I, sorry, I, I do really need sorry. to go. I'm sorry. As, especially people of color, we know the privileges or the advantages certain races have. Talk to me about some of those privileges that white people have that you guys don't have. Um, I would just be like, okay, uh, I guess I'll start with I am a black queer person. Uh, if I were to just walk amongst the streets, I'm also like women, like I don't, or I look very feminine. If I were to walk across the streets in the dark as a black queer female presenting person, I would not feel safe uh, because I feel like I would be pretty targeted. But if I were a white cis man, I don't think I'd be like the type of person someone would come up to and hate crime because that's just not what happens. I'm certainly cognizant of my own privilege because of my my own race this is the color of my skin um, what privileges are those lots of th I mean like I think there are certain assumptions that come with so certain people like they when they look at a black person or an Indian person they, they automatically have this profile in their head you know racial profiling and that still exists I mean we we're not going to escape that until human depravity itself goes away Talk to me about some of the privileges that m white men are awarded that you guys are not awarded. Um, definitely, like, I guess just getting away with situations. Like, if I were to, like, I don't know, like, I guess, there you go, I have to think about it. <laughs> I can't. Um, it's situations like, if I had a problem with like a male teacher and they were a white cis male, there was less of a chance for something to happen to them because of it. Like I could literally report them for anything, but because of that, if they were like upstanding in the community, sucks to me be basically. Do you think that it would be the same reaction if it was like a black male teacher? No. No. I think this problem would be solved immediately. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like um, PSC people are like more targeted, or minorities are more targeted, especially with like crimes in general, or if a person of color was to do something wrong, um, people would deal with it more quickly than if it was a cis white male. So you mentioned um, straight white men having more privileges. Can you talk to me about what some of those privileges are? Um, yeah, so generally, um, you know, there's not really ever a sense of like discrepancy whenever um, someone is trying to, let's say for instance, there is, um, there is a, a man who commits a crime and he's, you know, a regular looking white guy police are, you know, generally more likely to not have adverse reactions to them. Say if they're like having any sudden movements or sharp movements, they'll generally be more lenient with them compared to if it was like a black or brown person. Uh, Where do you get that analysis from? Exactly. Um, like statistics, crime statistics, uh, rates of arrest compared to uh, uh, comparing uh, you know, white people to like black and brown people or minorities in general. Um, 
What would you say to people who say, like, the black community commits the majority of the crime, that's why they're more likely to be arrested? What would you say to that point? Uh, I would say that there are uh, certain factors of society that have contributed to black and brown people being more impoverished, and crime is uh, sort of the way that um, a lot of people see an escape from this poverty, you know, stealing is a crime, but say you're a hungry man and you go into a grocery store and you steal some food for you or your family, is that really a crime? Or is a crime, you're too fissive. You know? Well, y'all, it was nice to see the really? racism levels at UT Austin have gone down a little bit. Uh, so, great video today. By the way, I am going to be at America Fest for Turning Point USA in Arizona this December 17th through 20th. Go to amfest.com and use coupon code SAV, SAV for 20% off your general admission ticket. I would love to meet you and I would love to see you there. Thanks for tuning in. Talk about what the last guy just said. A homeless guy stole food to feed his family. Let's say a homeless black person stole food or stole something to feed his family. He's not a thief. So we are not. You're not telling me that there are uh, ways or people you can justify stealing because you needed it at that time or because it's of importance no stealing is stealing regardless of there there should be no exception i don't even get now these are the people or these are the kind of people society is producing projecting to say oh um there are certain exceptions to a crime no there shouldn't be as long as stealing is a bad thing so you don't tell me now because the person is hungry the person has to rob somewhere to get food wow no you should even tell me that the person should come and rob you and collect food from you and then justify it call it that no it's not stealing the person had every right to steal from you call it that just paint it because the person is hungry or the person was hungry <laughs> This society, this is doomed. We are doomed though. If these are the type of people that people would produce, we are doomed for real. No, no way. See, listen, whatever these people are eating or they are learning in the classroom, <laughs> statistics, statistical data to say, blacks are more likely to experience police brutality racism so we are not dis dis um, saying that other people who experience or go through these things theirs is not imp of importance because they don't have black skin or they are not people of color uh, oh my god is the mentality and is the way this society is producing these type of brains to think it is okay no no a crime is a crime regardless of skin color we understand and we know that there are some people who get all over in their head who wants to be terrible people towards other people based on their skin color we're not disputing the fact but saying that everybody is has will be viewed in that light is what drives me nuts or is what is driving me nuts because no because a certain person was wicked or behaved in a certain way towards you does not mean you have to categorically place it that everybody is the same yes keep your guards up but no not everybody is the same now let's talk about the crime but what exactly is the reason or what exactly makes them to commit those crimes nobody should talk about that right but people think it is okay oh my goodness what i don't get is the craziness and the obsession about racism and white privilege and all of that and the more people keep talking about these they bring this into existence because it's not real it's not real 
is all up in their heads and they claim to make that this is real and you get people come up here to play, paint different narrative different stories of things that are not real just because society has placed a certain data to say this is how it is and that is the problem this is what is even making blacks to say oh society have said it that lots of black people cannot succeed or black people can attain to a certain level therefore there is no point working hard because obviously the job or the better life is handed over to a white man on a platter of gold that is the mentality they just want these blacks to see themselves as a victim to see themselves as being oppressed and not have anything going on for their life now so the, the thing is the more people continuously to listen to society tell them these things the more society is winning over them because society is creating more divide and making people feel a victim which they are not meant to be do you think society has your best interest at heart no look at people are saying oh st statistical data yes society is using that to satisfy a specific data based on the numbers and you you wake up and you say oh you want to follow what society has placed oh this data yes i have to match and fit in that data <laughs> sometimes it's not real but it's just because they want to spe um, have a specific amount of numbers to fit in the charts they have to impute it and therefore the minute you align yourself to read or you fit yourself in, in it you already completed their data you already made it real to them when it's not even real but people don't even think of this thing lots of people don't think they think when they see a particular statistical data based on the chart is real is 100 percent real oh this has to be it society is right i will not understand the constant obsession of racism and white privilege that people exhibit i still will not understand it probably somebody would or somebody could explain this to me but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are your thoughts about this so far what are your thoughts about white privilege and racism and everything i really love your thoughts and your contribution to this you can share other useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video